my friend, uh, I, I gotta give him the credit, man. You know, he was like, you know, what are you gonna, are you gonna do anything for Joe? And I was like, you know what? I think, I think I am. And then he told me he would help do this floor for nothing. What? For nothing. All righty then. Probably should turn the music down. All right. Start of a new day, and it's going to be a good one, folks. It is Friday. As I'm filming this, not sure when you guys are going to see this. You know, a little behind the music real quick. A lot of times when I'm filming videos, I usually don't like to say what day it is because I don't know what day the video is going to get up. But it is worth noting that today is Friday, and there's a lot of things to report currently. On my way out to go see my homeboy Connor who is building a piece of duct work for this HVAC that is getting ready to get installed in the house tomorrow. Folks, after this weekend, we should have heating and air in the house. And that's a big deal considering we're gonna need that when it comes time to doing the skim coat plastering and texture work on the walls. A little bit of heat will go a long ways to helping that plaster set up in an adequate amount of time. Also, we've got electrical and plumbing taking place over at the house. After I go meet with Connor, I've got to shoot over to Lowe's, pick up some materials to help those two jobs go better. And damn it, I forgot the damn contracts. I had contracts written up for the plumbing and the electrical, the scope of work for both. Damn it. I'm always rushing and always forgetting things, but neither here nor there, I can get those to those guys. I may need to run back to the house. We're gonna be going over to the house, seeing what all is going on over there, and there's been a lot of work that's been going on over there as of late. I've even been over there trying to help out doing some plaster work, and I'm gonna be over there doing a lot more work. I've mentioned this before, and I'm gonna mention it again. Folks, you really find out who your friends are when, well, when you're in a, when you're in a bit of a pickle, sort of like how we've been left uh, not naming any names, but you guys probably know who I'm talking about when they left us in the pickle that they did. You know, we've had Connor reach out helping with the HVAC. We've had HVAC guys who are going to help out. We've got Dave with the dreads. We've got a new guy, Larry, Jellico, and even our homeboy, Gay Dave. I just spoke with him for the first time in a long time yesterday, and Dave is actually doing flooring work, something that he's very good at, and something that he enjoys doing with another friend of his, who is also a big supporter of After Prison Show, so a very special shout out to him as well. But Dave reached out to me yesterday, and he said, when it comes time to do them floors, let him know, and him and his homeboy are gonna come and do these floors for free minus the cost of materials. So I'm just really humbled by that. I'm really humbled by the amount of outpouring that there's been from you know the individuals who are in fact helping with the house and so many others who are seeing these videos and who are reaching out via email or messenger saying, hey Joe, you know I'm willing to travel and come help you with whatever. I'm grateful for all of that. But I'm getting ready to head up to meet Connor. I gotta go back to the house, pick up these contracts, and then we'll be heading over to the house trying to get some work rolling on this fine Friday. All right, cool deal. So I'm out here at Connor's work right now. I'm actually just leaving from back in the shop area. It's a tight little fit right here. And Connor just built a return box for the HVAC system. And he fabricated this. It's a metal, sheet metal return box. It looks like it's probably like commercial grade. No insulation on the outside. The insulation's on the inside. He was telling me all about that. And I mean, that's how far out of his way this guy went. He actually built this return box to help us with this HVAC. And now we're getting ready to go back over to the same place where we bought the HVAC system from and going to buy a, a grill, a grill cover for the air intake. So back through the chain link and we're gonna be waiting for Connor to get over here with us so he can help us buy this thing because I don't even know what the size is. I forgot to bring the measurement. Connor said, don't worry about it. 
I got the measurement when I was over at the house the last time. He's actually right behind us. So we're gonna get a chance to see Connor just a little bit on video and we'll do that right after we buy this air grill cover. All right, so we just picked up the air filter and the air filter cover. And I wanna show you guys what Connor has built. Check this sucker out right here. That's like a commercial grade air box. What's that called? A duck box? A return? It's for your supply. Air supply? Supply air. Supply air. Dude, you built that. Yeah, so that's what the little six inch taps are gonna come out of that run to each one of your uh, grills. Right, for the air. Yeah, so I'll explain to you, uh, just in case Mike wants to do that tomorrow, I'll explain to you how it should be done, just to make sure he does it the way I would do it. Right. Um, and so I'll, he would have to cut holes in here for each of the flex lines to come out of? There'll be three on one side and two on the other. But yeah, that's insulated, so norm that stuff right there on the inside is normally what you would wrap the outside of the duct with. Right. Um, but as long as you don't have to worry about that because it's insulated. So, you're so as long as it's either on the outside or the inside, we're good. Yeah. But damn, man, you built this damn thing. How long did it take you to build this? A few minutes. Hell yeah. 20 minutes. Well, Connor, these guys are going to be coming over tomorrow to do this installation. You know, they're probably going to have it done by the weekend, maybe. Yeah, they should be done in a day. Wow. Got all this other stuff in the back of the truck, too, that I got to take over there. There's the uh, air filter, the air filter door, and then another piece to that supply air that Connor built. Dude, I can't thank you enough for all of this. Not a problem, man. I mean. Glad I could help. Well, um, very grateful for it, and I'm going to be looking forward to seeing you. We've been doing dinner on, like, a weekly basis. I was talking about that on the Bobo, this little live stream that I do, and I was like, I finally learned what a tapas is. Yeah. We've been going to some pretty eclectic places. I know that last place was cool, man. It's a good spot. I'm gonna pick this place for uh, next week, and I don't know if you ever heard of it. I mean, this is about as fancy as it gets, but Golden Corral? Yeah, yeah I've heard that's the, yeah, way better than Silver Corral. There we I've go. <laughs> hey, Connor, man, thank you. Thanks, man. Hey, how you feeling? You feeling any better? You got rid of that, uh. Influenza you been? I didn't have influenza, man. Well, you sound a lot better, so that's hopeful. Thanks again, man. I have a little dust, a little dust in the nostrils. No, nah, that's not that kind of dust. Calm down. Wow. All right. So, uh, hey, good to see you, man. You too, man. All righty. Up in the box truck, uh, leaving from my house, Jellico just met me over here to help get the HVAC loaded up, folks. It's probably not a good idea to be talking about this, but we're getting ready to go drop the HVAC off over at the house. But hopefully by the time you guys are seeing this, it's already installed and bolted down. That still don't mean nothing though. A person could chop that thing all to pieces if they wanted to. But I wanna say a very special shout out to Connor. Connor built that box for us that, I don't even remember what it's called now at this point. He built the box. You know, Jellico's coming out of his way to come help me get the HVAC loaded up to take the HVAC over to the house to be ready for the installation that's supposed to take place tomorrow. And Lloyd, David with the dreads, he's over there busting his ass trying to help us get work done at the house. We've had a plumber over there who's been doing the same thing. It's been really awesome seeing the house get back on track and start to get to a point where work is getting done. I hope I don't sound like a broken record, I'm sure I do, but I'm just really happy to know that work is getting done over there. And we're about to be over at the house and we'll get a chance to talk with Jellico and see what he's thinking about a few things that we've got going on over the house, a couple of concerns that I've got. So let's go see what he's got to say. I'm just getting to the house and riding in the box truck. I don't know what Jellico did to the box truck, but now all of a sudden when you're riding it, the whole cab just stinks of exhaust. We might got an exhaust leak. That's probably what that is. But special shout out to Jellico, who is over here. And Jellico's getting ready to show us how to skim coat. 
<laughs> this is going to be a tutorial video right here. Jellico. Huh? It's pointless. <laughs> Jellico saw my skim coat. I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. And uh, obviously, I didn't do it right. I didn't have wide enough trowels, mud knives. What do they call them? Uh, these are mud knives, but I use a trowel. Anyway. All right, so Jellico's getting ready to show us that. I do want to give a little bit of, well, not a little bit, but I want to give some air time to this guy. I know. Hey, what's going on, Dave, with the dreads? I'm hey, uh, with the dreads. working, man. Working over here at uh, so, so Dave with the dreads is drawing up some CAD blueprints right now. <laughs> yeah, some, uh, some homemade shit right here. That's all right, though, man. So he's working on an escape route for the house. <laughs> A fire, uh, uh, fire route, and uh, now I'm just kind of marking down where all the uh, all the fixtures are gonna go, and all the outlets, and where everything actually is, and where things might go, and all that. Just Hell yeah! Have a good idea. Well, that way, you, know, you got the HVAC guys coming, so I want them to know where everything's at, where they can pull power from, and you know, all that shit. So, well, I greatly appreciate it, man. Yep. Thank you for being over here. Thank you for being a part of the moving forward uh, gig. Appreciate it. And uh, how you been doing, man? Uh, I think, man, that's probably a, uh, that might be for another day, man. Uh, it's, it's, it's been rough these last couple weeks, but uh, I've been hanging in there. Well. To be honest with you. Well, look, man, keep your damn head up. Try I know it. you probably got a lot on your mind. Ain't probably. I know you got a lot on your mind. And, uh, you know, just always remember, you're doing the right damn thing out here. I'm trying to, man. I'm trying to. Well. I want to let you know I greatly appreciate your help, man. You're welcome, man. I and, it, having me on, for real. and if you ever need a hug or anything, uh, Jellico's giving out two for ones on the hugs. Oh yeah. Something like that. I don't know. All right. I, I hear he's uh I hear he's stingy on the hugs these days. <laughs> oh boy, juicy details. I just seen your girl come through here. Yeah. What'd she do? She brought you a bottle of water. Yeah, man, to clean up my tools. I didn't get a chance to clean everything up. Yet. Yo, she came all the way over here just to bring you that little bit of water <laughs> to clean your tools? <laughs> you need to marry that girl, Jellico. Man, I did. You know people keep telling me. She's a good one, that's for sure. So Jellico's about to show me how to skim coat. And you can't even... Well, you know, rule number one of doing plastic work, you gotta clean your tools afterwards, man. Man, she... After long days like I've been having. Yeah, I feel you. But now these are just the mud knives for when we go in the bathroom, man. Uh, this skim coat that we're doing with this, skim coat you should always use mud and knives, but. Uh, but yeah, we are going to use a hawk. A hawk. Try and hawk. So you throw the mud on that hawk. So we're just, you're just showing me. We're not doing this whole wall. No. And by the way, real quick, if I haven't got a chance to show you guys yet, here is my skim coat. It's not dry yet, but I did this, I did this like a day ago and it's still not dry. And mind you, we got a other plaster that's like dripped down from when the other guys were in here doing the work. So you got like a plaster knife I could use to get that off. There we go. Easy peasy. Hey, man. Don't mess that, it up. That, that's a good knife. Here. That's a good knife. Yeah. Can't, can't use the good knife for that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll use one of the low. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right. So Jellico wants to show us how to do the skim coat. I honestly don't know. I've watched a couple of YouTube videos on it. I thought I did a pretty good job. Jellico. Based upon what you've seen me do, right? I mean, it's not bad, but uh, the one thing he wanted us to make sure to do was... Who wanted to make sure? Oh, oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie was the... Make sure we hit the, the big side. But no, usually you start from the bottom. It's a piece of cake. Wow. And that's it. That's it. Oh, see, there's a little bit thick there. My gold is.
so we gotta feather that out. And that's the thing about the ripples and stuff we got. We have to feather it. So does it have to be completely smooth? Not completely, but pretty close. It's pretty close to a smooth finish. You know, like, you know, normal. So with that bucket of mud right there, that's what we would use to do the skim coat. And that's what we're using because it's cheaper. Oh, okay. Like that, what you got there, those lines? No good, no bueno. No, I mean, we, they're easy to knock down, but we're... Trying to avoid. Yeah. You want to get it as smooth as possible, that way it's less yeah. oh. work afterwards. Let me see, uh, can you stand over here so you're in the light? Let's see. So how long do you think it would do, take to do this whole house? About a day and a half. Really? Taking your time, making sure it's right. Yeah. See, I mean, it's just knockdown though. We're just trying to get the heavy stuff. We need to get a heater, man, or otherwise this stuff isn't really going to... Well, the HVAC's going to be in here, so we're oh, going to be good. Oh, yeah! We're going to be good. We're going to get a toilet. Jesus Christ. I don't know where people have been using the bathroom out here, <laughs> but I sure wouldn't like to find out. Yeah. All right, cool deal. So we are at the house right now. It is Sunday morning. You guys are probably seeing this on Sunday. Shout out to them 49ers who won the Super Bowl. They got their hands full with Kansas City. Hey, look, let's go up inside so we don't have the wind messing with us. Folks, we do have a special guest joining us right now. And I think you guys are gonna be really happy to see who we've got. Somebody that you've asked about many, many times, and it is this guy. What's up? Does the beard look good on camera? Dude, the beard looks great. That after prison show orange is looking super fly. Dude, I got a whole closet full of these t-shirts. I wear them all the time. Who's winning the Super Bowl tonight? I'm riding with uh, Garoppolo. Garoppolo. It's happening. It's gonna be a tough one. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. You can't. Well, you can't kill Kansas City, man. But this is, hey, dude. This is cool because this is like one of the first Super Bowls in a while. Uh, maybe not. Where it's gonna be a good game. Because last year's Super Bowl was some padookie. You didn't think so. Not when we won it. It was like three to nothing at halftime. I was like, what the hell is this? Hey, look, and it wasn't even like a defensive struggle. It was just them offenses was caca. Yeah, it was, it was tough, man. Dave, what have you been up to, man? Um, I'm working. I'm working. You're actually over here working a little bit. Yeah, me and um, a really good friend of mine decided uh, we were going to come do your floors. How much are you going to charge me? We'll talk about that later. No. Nah. My friend, uh, I, I got to give him the credit, man. You know, he was like, you know, what are you going to, are you going to do anything for Joe? And I was like, you know what? I think, I think I am. And then he told me he would help do this floor for nothing. What? For nothing. We're gonna nothing. For free. You just gotta, if we need something to get the floor done, then, you know, that'll fall on you. But for real, bro, we love you, man. You've done a, a lot for me. And. Well, dude. I'm excited to come get this done for you. It means a lot. And I mean this with absolute sincerity. I mean, thank you. Thank you to you. Thank you to your friend. He's over here right now. You know, I appreciate you guys coming over here on a Sunday morning, on Super Bowl Sunday, to talk to me about these floors, what we can do, what the options are, yeah. and to be willing to help me get this done. Man, I love you, bro. You've done a lot for me. Well, I I'm appreciate it. I'm going to help if I can, and I'm in a position to help. So that's what I'm going to do. And this is what I'm doing now, too. I work for uh, a flooring company. flooring company. And you love doing floors. Yeah, I like doing floors. I don't like working. Well, who, who but I like I like finishing the floors. Oh God, we got another special guest pulling up right now too. I think it who is. is. It's well, my beautiful wife's out there, and it's hey, it's Connor. What's up? Connor, I ain't mean to put you on the uh, under the gun here, but good to see you, brother. Terrible. Boy, it's like a family reunion up in here. 
It is. Yo, that's funny you say that. I just watched that video of all of us sitting on the couch. Playing oh, video no, games? No, the live stream. Oh, the questionnaire thing? Yeah. I was, the saying, early Bobo. I was like, man, we. Bobo before the Bobo. Damn yeah, the right. Alpha, the Bobo Alpha. Man, we were corny. But we was having fun, though. Oh, we were definitely having We was having that good, clean fun. You know, that, that legal fun. Yeah. Not that illegal fun. Illegal. So, anyways. Illegal and illegal. Somebody No, that's your guys. Boy, your guy. I ain't got to steal switches. I got one. Hey, look. I've learned the biggest lesson of everything when it comes to this. You get what you pay for. Pay for. And I'll tell you about that off camera. But anyways, actually, I'm going to tell you a little bit of it on camera. You guys are here on a great day. It's really good to see the both of you. Thank you so much, Connor, for all of this help with the HVAC. Without you, this HVAC would not be possible. The guys working on the HVAC would not be possible. Dave... Nothing would be possible without you. Oh God, man, you don't have to do that, bro. You don't have to, nah, come on, keep going. Do it one more time. Do it um, one more time. You know, you uh. You gotta be faster than that, bro. Do it one more time. You know, and Dave's over here because him and his dude, they're gonna help out with the floors, man. And I think this is the design we're going for right here. This is uh, yeah. This is Meth Rock City. This is that new. We call this vintage as f. Picking up the uh, crumbs. Hey, yo, what is, is that one right there, though? This is called the, uh, this is the foggy look. Yeah, man, this is like the universe. That's what the, we're going for that. So, Dave, it's so good to see you, man. We're going to film a little bit with you. Oh, yeah, Connor. So, uh, <laughs> you're seeing the first. Someone stepped on the ceiling? No, 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 no. Your guy, your yeah. guy about fell through the ceiling yesterday. They were over here late last night, so somebody almost fell through the ceiling. That was the first thing. Uh, somehow, the... <laughs> the complete glass door of the brand new two-year warranty stove is completely shattered, but I'll wear that because I'm putting appliances in the Why house. Is there a heart right there? Because they knew that Joe was going to love that when he saw it. First thing I saw when I walked in here, I was like, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Clear, we lost them. Yeah, so there's that. There is definitely that. So here's our big four ton unit right here. This is really a one and a half ton. Um, that thing's nice, man. That's all because of you, man. Yeah, that thing's nice. No more lines running through, you know, running down the side of the house. The new line set now comes through the house. What about the condensator? Are they going to run that through the house too? Or are they going to run it out like that? I would hope that they run it through the house. It was running just down the wall. And that's going to look better when we put the vinyl siding on the house so you won't have all this stuff just hanging off the house. Supposedly today, we're going to have HVAC. We're going to, we're going to be able to hit that button and boom. It's going to be like... And it's going to sound like... And then we're going to be like, oh, boy, we got some heat and the money. What? I know y'all. I know you got some good duct work in your house. You got it from Craverly, I'll tell you that much. Connor built me a... Built what the supply air what do you think about the way that the flexes ran you think it looks good he said it was a little tight well you know it is tight and i thought that he was i thought they were going to reuse some of the black stuff that's why i thought three boxes was enough because i thought they were going to use a couple of the really long ones you know what i mean right so what we're looking at is if this flex gets pulled tight at the grill. It's going to come undone? No, but it, it pinches it. So what happens is it's a slinky, right? And it's going to... So what happen is you pull it tight and it goes like this. So it's not going to perform as well. It just pinches it off, pinches off the air well. Anyway. Does it look like it's pinched over there? That looks fine. Connor, I appreciate you being over here on a Sunday checking this stuff out, man. I was gonna do it. So this one will be good once it's strapped, right? Mm-hmm. That one is fine. That one's fine. That one's fine. When you've got some give in this thing, you just got this freaking return box right in the damn way. Yeah. The only tight one is that one. Go into the back corner. That was a no-no. You're not supposed to come down the ladder like that. 
Per OSHA. Per OSHA. Dave, it's Super Bowl Sunday, man. Go 49ers. We haven't seen you in, man, it's been a little bit. 49 days. <laughs> but you've been busy, man. You've been working. I got 49 hours this week. Boy, a lot of 49s. That's what I'm saying, bro. Dude, a lot of people have been asking, you know, what's been up with you? We need to get the Dave update. And here you are today. You know, what's the update? So, I uh, got a job um, part-time working for a flooring company. Um, my buddy Steve, who's going to help me with this floor that I've known since I was like 10 years old. And another friend of mine, Gary, who I've known since I was like 13 years old. They both work there. They got me a job part-time, part-time. And uh, I was asked literally last week to start full-time. So now I'm, I'm just working, just working. Doing what you like to do. Yeah, it's fun. I like um, the look on people's face when you're done with their floor. He didn't come through the ceiling, did he? No, All right. no, thank God. We don't need that again. At least you got enough. <laughs> what, sheetrock to fix it? I guess you gotta do that. Uh, what are you gonna do with that wall? We're gonna skim coat it and then just, we're doing a lot of skim coating in here. Skim coat knockdown. We're gonna bring them all back. Bring them back. But Dave, look man, we don't get a chance to see you as often as we'd like to. You come over here on, you know, on a Sunday morning to offer the help of, you know, helping me get this damn place rocking and rolling and, you know, closer toward completion. I can't thank you just enough. Think about me when you hit the lottery, bro. Well, hopefully we're gonna hit the lottery with this house. Maybe this one, maybe the next one. We definitely learned some lessons on this one, I'll tell you that much. Well, that's what this was for. Get your feet wet. Your feet are soaked. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite wet right now, no homo. <sighs> but look man, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for coming over here. Thank you for bringing your homeboy over here who also rocks with After Prison Show. Oh yeah. And you know, the next time that we see you, I can't guarantee that we will see you before then. I'm thinking in about two weeks, we're gonna be ready for floors. Maybe we get a chance to see you prior to that, but Maybe. without question, definitely wanna see how you're working and definitely wanna see what we can do with these floors. And I'm gonna be there to help as well because I wanna learn the floor. It's not, it's not hard. It's just a lot of tricks to putting floors down to make them look good. One trick that not a lot of people know that do their own floors is the door jams. I don't know how many times I've gone into a house and you can see gaps around the door jams. We're gonna make this look good and when it's done, your next floor, you, you'll probably be able to do it yourself. Hell yeah. Well Dave, I appreciate you coming over here on a Sunday. You know, what do you wanna say to everybody? They've been asking about you. I'm doing good, I'm here, I'm alive. I know I don't post on social media that much, but um, I've been thinking about maybe doing it more often just to give y'all updates. I love Joe, I love After Prison Show, I love everything it represents. I love, you know, 90% of the people that watch this channel. And I just, I think that uh, there's no other place I'd rather be, Joe, than here in the slums of Virginia, putting a floor in for you. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. We're not really in the slums, y'all. Eh, we kinda are. Somebody just got shot and killed out here last night, though. So. so you're gonna try to reuse that, Connor? I got this collar back in the box. Oh yeah, you did. Well, you know something, don't you, Connor? Yeah. If it don't work, tape it. Looks brand new. So this is the right way to do it. A lot of people just tape it. Dude, you didn't have to be out here on a Sunday doing this, man. You didn't have to be out here doing this at all. Preferably, you want to get three rings onto the onto the tab. Yeah. Out here on a Sunday morning, man. I greatly appreciate it. Not a problem, man. Appreciate you hooking me up with the... Uh... I feel like I work, actually. <laughs> appreciate you. Got him on video, documenting this. Oh, yeah. This is fix it or, or F it. Felon flippers. 
Look, man, I greatly appreciate you coming out here, hooking it up with not only helping us get the HVAC, but also helping us get the technicians out here to get it installed as well. And you also coming out here, getting your hands dirty and checking on the work that's being done. Yeah, I gotta do it every once in a while because you know half the new guys don't even know I can work. You know? <laughs> they just see me in the office, assume I don't know how to run that. Well, yeah. dude, I can't thank you enough, man. Next video, hopefully, is gonna be us flipping that switch and hearing some damn HVAC cutting on. Or the house blowing up, one or the other. One or the other, man. Either way, it'll be exciting. Yeah, that's for damn sure. Cool. Appreciate you, man. Not a problem.